All right, so another episode of Billy and Bob, Bob and Billy, however you want to look at it. Um, you went to the big game. I went to the Elite Eight, uh, and Virginia pulled through at the last second, and in in, so we were on the way to the Final Four. That was exciting to watch. Oh, it was incredible, incredible. I mean, that to the force the overtime, you know, they, they threw it back and, Little little guy Clark threw it all the way up, and Tiquete just made the shot, and we went to overtime. Uh, and then in overtime, since we you know we we worry about gamblers, uh, in overtime we are up by three, and we have the ball, and they foul the little guy. He's only five eight. Okay. Okay. Dag on good player, and so we're up by three. He makes the first one. It's like two seconds left maybe even less than that so you would you would assume when you make the first one you're up by four two scores to win they can't possibly win right so you would expect the guy to be kind of ah if i miss this one that'll take some time off the clock i don't really care and just throws it up there well he made it so virginia won by five you know what the line was billy i have no idea four and a half hmm so if he missed it like he should have, if you bet on Virginia, you would have lost. Instead, you bet on Virginia, you won. And once again, we're back to this. How do they do it within a half a point, Billy? You can't beat these guys. It, it's a true test. <laughs> I mean, that's why compulsive gamblers, it's better to quit. Well, it's not better to quit. It's the only thing you it's can do. It's the only do. thing you can do it's because the they you got do. you. They Bookies mean, got you. I mean, you you cannot win. You cannot win. I was listening. I listen, I listened to Vcent, okay, mm-hmm. which is a sports gambling show with Brett Musburger, and I listen to it every now and then. And the guy the other day said, "When you when you lay eleven to ten, as good as these guys are, you can't win." This is on a gambling show, so you can't win. Mm-hmm. It just takes a compulsive gambler a long time, if they ever figure that out, to figure it out. So now we now we I'm on my way to Minnesota tomorrow. Oh, that's exciting. Okay, what, what's in Minnesota, Billy? Ah, it sounds like the Final Four. The Final Four, but what else is in Minnesota, Billy? Hmm. The Mall of America. You ever heard of that? I've heard of the Mall of America. The, the largest mall. In- it, are you and Miss Edie going shopping? <laughs> we're going shopping Sunday afternoon. Oh, my. And then we're going to eat, eat Popeyes. We love Popeyes. We eat Popeyes at it. It's good luck, too. Hopefully, we're <laughs> going to win Saturday. But, you know, it's, it's about having fun. And you know, if you, and I've struggled with addiction, and it's difficult to have fun when you when you have an addiction. No, just, there's no fun. I mean, you you have depression and and so forth, but it's you know it it's it's a lot of fun. To, you know, I didn't care if Clark made one or made two. All I cared about was winning. Yeah, I mean, I didn't care. Whereas if I was gambling, I've been a wreck. And I had a friend who, had, yeah, I've got friends that still gamble. I got a lot of friends that still drink. You know, it it you don't by giving up your addiction, you don't have to give up friends. And good friends are going to understand that the best thing for you is not to drink. They don't an, an alcoholic, and I guess a gambler also. They don't care if you gamble or drink. An alcoholic doesn't doesn't care if you do or don't, as long as he can drink or gamble. Right. It's all about them. It's all about the addiction has taken hold, and you can, I don't know how to put it, but it's just the addict doesn't care if you gamble or drink or don't gamble and don't drink. And th- that's kind of a lot of people have a problem with that because they think they're going to lose all their friends, and they, you know, they're going to be a social outcast. And when people are younger, there's probably more peer pressure and stuff. But, but, I really, I think it's, I think the fear is that the mm-hmm. fear of that might even gre- be greater as you get older, because y- you know, I had friends. I stopped drinking when I was. 55 or something like that, 54 or something like that. And that's not young, okay? <laughs> and all of my friends drank. All of my friends still drink. 
and there's there's the fear that you know they're gonna you know they're not gonna want to be around you if, if you, unless you're drinking plus a lot of them a lot of them are probably functioning alcoholics yeah and just don't know it and and or drink too much uh and what's too much it, it's up to the person but a lot of people just function with that and you know addiction unfortunately i don't think is going away you have a lot of i read an article the other day that uh the youth are drinking less now they're probably smoking more marijuana uh, which is probably with the strength of marijuana today, that's probably not good for them. No, at all. Uh, but you know, I would like for there to be no everybody to be happy and not have addictions, but that's not going to happen. And I fear this going to get worse instead of getting better as people have more leisure time, more failure to launch. More laws passed. More laws passed. More stress. More unhappiness. I mean, you know, the, the, you know, you spend four years in college and you got a two hundred thousand dollar debt, and I've got a phone that just went off. That's the that's the bat phone. Bob's bat phone just went off. And it's unknown, so we're not going to answer it. And I'll just turn this thing off so it doesn't ring again. Mister Cabanas, would you like to buy? <laughs> no, I don't want to buy. <laughs> I don't want to buy anything. <laughs> when, when everybody calls and they call you Cabanas, I'm like, oh, give me a break. you got to at least get that right. <laughs> no, they, they mis- mispronounce my name a lot, Billy. Cabanus. It's not that hard. <laughs> oh, boy. So we're get, getting look, looking forward to going to Min- Minneapolis tomorrow and hopefully staying to Tuesday. One final question for you. Did um, Were you shocked when you got the... Prime time slot last weekend. Remember, you thought that Duke was going to get it. Which day are you talking about, Billy? Oh, wasn't it was S- wasn't it Sunday? Sunday, yes. You did get the prime time slot. I thought we were the late game Sunday. Now maybe we were the six o'clock. We were the like the no, seven something. Whatever it something. was, Duke got the prime time slot. Oh, they, they still got the prime, got time, the prime time slot. It just wasn't late. I see. Okay, because. Sunday is CBS. We didn't. We didn't play on Sunday. We played on Saturday, and we played the late game. Okay. I mean, the only thing I can promise you this weekend is Duke is not getting the prime time slot. Duke is not getting the prime time slot. No. <laughs> sorry, Duke fans. That's a that's a really bad joke for Duke fans. I'm sorry. But you know, we we had the best coach in the country, Tony Bennett. Vote for him. Go to NCAA. Coach of the Year and vote for Tony and vote often. Uh, it's just exciting. You know, 35 years ago, I went, it was the last time Virginia went to the Final Four. Wow. Were you there? Of course I was there, Billy. I'm an old guy. Yeah, I was there. He and I both were there wow. in Seattle, Washington. Don't you Don't you ever look in my office? There's a, there's a picture of a bunch of basketball players. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw that. That's from 1984 when they went to the Final Four in Seattle. Oh my goodness. Okay. So, well, now I know. So, so, and the AD then gave that to me. I forgot to tell the AD, not the AD, the um, Student Aid Foundation, it was called then, gave that to me, and I had it framed, and I hope that they will give me another one this year with a little bit, bit, bit big news on it. <laughs> We're hoping for big news. Big news. <laughs> big and I guess news. we'll find out next week. We will find out next week. I'll be here next week. To I'm just so proud of the players. You know, I, I hope they win, but they've had a really good year. And then great young men. And that's what it's really about. They're getting an education. And not every school can say that. If you look at Duke, sorry Duke fans, but I'm not really that sorry. Look at Duke. Uh I think three or four of their players are are going to go to turn pro after one year. They did not get a good education, mm-hmm. and I'm not going to get it in the other the way things that Duke does down there. Yeah, but I like the fact that we have one that's going to be leaving early. But he was at he was at Virginia for three years, and we might have another that's leaving after three years. I hope he doesn't go, but he might. But three years, you can still get quite an education. They have to go to class. 
It's not like one and then done, and you don't go to class the second semester. Uh, and that doesn't always happen. John Calipari at Kentucky makes them go to class and makes them go finish the, the year. And I didn't know that till recently somebody told me that, and I kind of respect him a little bit more because of that. Because college, universities, it needs to be education. Mm -hmm. They need to, to learn things. Otherwise, they, they do stupid things oftentimes. Yeah. Too often. Uh, but that was one heck of a game, Billy. I'm going to tell you, I've been going for a long time. I've never seen anything like it. Man, it that, that so guy cool. from Purdue was something else. Oh, the guy from – I've never I, – I haven't Googled and found out if somebody could and get back to us. I don't think any team is hit in the NCAAs has ever had somebody score over 40 points and lost. Mm. And lost. Yeah. Okay? And he was guarded like great – he could – when he hit that – he banked one in in the second half. Well, Tony Bennett said he tore up his player card when he, <laughs> that happened. When that happened, I thought, there's no way we can win. I really thought, there's no way we can win. They, this guy is just on fire. The, 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 the gods aren't lining up. God's not lining up for us. So I, I was kind of – thought that. So – I look forward to seeing you all next week, and I'm going to have a great time in Minneapolis. Very good. I wish you the best, and I'll look forward to hearing the stories. <laughs> okay. Thank and you. there will be stories. <laughs> I know that. Oh, I have, didn't tell you. Wait a minute, Billy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Time out. Time out. <laughs> did, did I tell you Did I tell you that the first game, the game that was on Thursday night, you know, I'm get, I get anxious and I'm superstitious, and some of that might be left over from gambling. I'm superstitious. So first half we're doing pretty good. The second half we kind of start slipping and not we're not playing real well. So I go out in the hall and I'm walking around and I look at my pocket and I've got got a ticket and I fold the ticket up and just throw that sucker in the trash can. So we get back to the room later that night, late, and my wife's pulled out the car at the tickets for for Saturday night. She says we only have three tickets for Saturday night. I thrown away the Saturday night ticket. <laughs> You thought you threw away the Thursday night ticket. I thought I threw the th Thursday night ticket. I didn't know I had the, the Sunday night ticket with me. I threw that away. So we got in. We got, got in anyway. And so then Saturday night, we're sitting right next to this huge Purdue section. And they're big guys. They're like your side, all of them. Because mm -hmm. they're, they're boilermakers. They're from the Midwest, and they're big guys. And so some guy, I don't know exactly what happened, but the next thing you know is there's a little – we're getting into it a little bit. Bob's getting in and telling them, that, you know, so-and-so and so-and-so. And, so and, so. and my oldest son was with me and said, Dad, you don't pick a fight with the whole section, and they're a lot bigger than you are. <laughs> <laughs> so, but we won, and, uh, but they, their guy was pretty special. Their guy was pretty special. So next week I'll probably have some other good stories to tell you. That'll be good. So the first time in 35 years, okay? Okay, man. Take care. See Thank you, Bob. Billy. Bye.